If you've ever struggled to make your email designs look good, Canva just made that problem disappear. The emails feature lets you create beautiful, clickable designs you can send through any platform. And yes, you can even test them and download them as HTML. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Diana, a Canva verified expert, and on this channel, we share with you the latest Canva updates and tips to make your content more creative. If that sounds like something you are interested in, make sure to subscribe now. From the homepage, you will see this new icon that says email. If you click here, you will create a new design, which will take you to a new Canva document. From here, you can start designing a new email from scratch, or you can browse the template library from here. What I would suggest is to do the following. Let me close this window. From the homepage, instead of creating a new document, I would instead go to templates and then from here go to email. So you see now we have this new explore templates section and we have different categories. So I'm just going to click here and then I'm able to browse through all the email templates available in here. What I like about doing it this way is that I can have an overview of all the designs from here and then then simply select the one that I prefer. And in here you have a mix of premium templates and free ones as well. For this example, I'm going to go for a free template. So let me go for this one. I'm clicking on the thumbnail and then customize in this template, which is going to create a new Canva design. Now, this is how this template looks like. And as you all know, you can customize everything on this design. So let me show you what you can do in here. On top of the design, we have this section with just text. So let's say that I want to talk about our future membership, the run the collab. Now, the banner that we have in here, you cannot edit it right from this section of the design. So from this section of the editor, but you'll have to double click. You'll see that there is a little message on top that says double click to edit so pretty simple simply double click and this will open another editor now we have this editor let's say this editor inside the editor from which you can actually edit the banner so war connect thrive i really like these keywords but i think i'm gonna change the font let me see and maybe change the size of these text boxes i'm gonna change the color of these text boxes and also the color from the shapes let's see if this combination works yeah it's looking good and now I'm simply going to save this edit. And now that I'm back here to this email design, I'm also going to change the color of this title in here. And I'm gonna double check if there are more button styles that I can use. I really like this one because it has a minimal style, but I also would like to show you how to find and use different buttons. So you're gonna go to elements and then from here, you will see this section called buttons. You also have headers in case that you don't like the one that you have in here. You can find another header from here and insert it into your email design. Now, let me go back. I'm happy with what I have. I just want to see the different buttons that we have in here. So I believe this one might be the same one as we have already in here. Yeah. And then you have some other buttons with borders, gradients, and so on. So let's try one with a gradient. Why not? Let me delete this one here and let's edit this button. You can change the color from here. So let me try that out out I'm gonna leave this button as it is. It's a simple and very subtle gradient. And now, if I want to change the color of the font, I'm simply going to select the button and change it from this toolbar. Gonna use the same purple I used on the title. Once you're done with your edits, you're gonna click done and your button will be ready. Now, let me change the font on this button because I can see that we are still using Arial. So let me come here and change it for Montserrat. I think I'm happy with this option. And I'm also going to adjust the letter spacing. Now, what else can we customize on this email? You can change the images, you can add animated elements. So let me show you how to do that. So we have these two images in here and let's say that you 
want to replace them. You can either use the images in the elements library. So you can go here, search for photos, search for anything related to your business. So I'm going to search for co-working and see what do we find in here. In and there, this is looking great. So I'm going to simply drag and drop the images to change them on this email. If you want to use your own images, you're going to go to upload files and then search for your files on your computer. Now, let me show you how to search and insert animated elements into your email. Go to elements, from here search for graphics and then click see all and then you can search for anything that you need. So in my case I would like to use a light bulb. Let's see if we find something like that. Perfect. And now I'm going to filter the search results by animation. You can see here the option and now I'm going to select animated. I think I'm going to use in this one right here. I'm going to drag it into my design and you will see a purple line appearing. This will indicate you the placement of the element. So I want to have it on top and then I'm going to reduce its size. I can see that I cannot make it smaller enough so I'm going to try something different and this is a tip that is going to help you as well. I'm going to position this element here to the left you can see and now that I have this element in here you can see that once I start dragging this alignment to the left the element becomes smaller and I think this is already looking good so I'm going to drag this element on top. And this title in here, I'm going to align it again to center. Now, something else that I found interesting about this element is that I can customize its colors. So I'm going to do that and use my branded colors. Now, let me show you an extra tip that might help you design and write your emails. In this case, we have this pretty simple line in here, find community in our co-working space. But let's say that you want to give it a different writing style. You're going to select the text that you want to adjust and then click the magic right icon. It is this pencil right here and then I'm going to make this line more fun. So I'm going to click here. Canva is giving me a different option. So instead of find community in our co-working space, we have discover your tribe in our buzzing co-working hub. If you're happy with what you have, you're going to click replace. Perfect. I'm going to adjust a little bit more this email right here. So I'm going to delete elements and sections that I think I don't need. Now you might have seen that there is a page break in here. You can actually add your own page breaks if you want and I believe this is a good way to deliver different pieces of content in one email. So let's say that we are talking here about how to access the Rondi collab and we have another section in which we are talking about our trip to London. So I'm going to separate these two sections in here by clicking on this plus icon and then select page break. Now we have this section separated from this one here. I have adjusted a couple of things here on this email design and I think I'm ready to test this email. For this, you're going to click on this button on top of the screen, send test email. From here, you can preview your emails. So you're going to click on this little button. And then from here, you'll have a desktop preview and mobile preview. So this is how it looks from a desktop. Looks good. And then from a mobile device, I believe everything looks good as well. So I'm going to change the subject line of this test email. This is not going to be the final subject line, but it's just for you to recognize recognize this test email. So I'm going to name it test email and then this email will be sent to the email address associated to your Canva account. This one you won't be able to change so it is there by default. You will see where this test email is going to be sent and then simply click send test email, the button that you see at the bottom of the screen. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So make sure that this bar is complete and then go over to your inbox. This can take from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on how long your email is. This one actually was ready in a couple of seconds. I already have my email sent, so you can see here 
here. This sent completed. So I'm going over to my inbox. And here we have the email. It is sent from Canva. We have the subject line. It says preview and then the subject line you have provided. And then you can see the description of the email in here. So let's see how the email looks. I'm going to open it. And as you can see, we have the animated element in here. It is moving. We have all the branded colors here looking good. The banner, the buttons. Let me see if they are working. So I'm clicking here. It is opening our website. So perfect. What else do we have in here? The images. This button should take us to our Instagram account. It is working as well. Perfect. And then the email signature. And now let me show you how the email looks from a mobile device. Here we have exactly the same email sent from Canva. This is the preview test email. Let me see how it looks from here. We also have the animated element and the content looks perfect as well from mobile. Once you have tested your email and everything looks good, you'll be ready to download your HTML code. For this, click share on top of the screen, download, and then from here, by default, you will have the file type HTML and images. If you don't see this file type, make sure to select it. And finally, click download. My HTML code and images are ready and you will have a zip file like this one. Now, I won't go into detail on how to import this HTML code into your email platform because you all might be using different email platforms. And by the way, I'm super curious to know which email platform do you use and do you like it? Please let me know in the comments. So I do suggest you go and search online for something like how to import HTML email or HTML email template to, and then you will add the name of your platform. And then from here, you will see so many different resources that will guide you on how to do that. We've been thinking of starting our own email list. So this new feature is making me feel more comfortable to finally start this new project. How about you? Do you already have your own email list? Are you already sending emails or you are about to start like us? Let us know in the comments. Now, if you want to keep exploring the new features in Canva, you need to check the next video on our Canva World Tour playlist. And if you want to go deeper and master Canva, I do suggest you go and check our Canva master course. The link is here on the screen and also in the description of this video. I think that's it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!